In this video, we're going to quickly look at the new styles and snap sizing in the Dora window tool for ARCHICAD 23. We'll just spend a few minutes going over what the styles are and how they work so that you can get up to speed and start using them or ignore them entirely if that's what you want to do. So when you look at your window settings now, you'll notice that you start on this page here. And this is where the styles are set and controlled. So at the top you can see at the moment we're using custom settings. But if we click on this fly out here, you can see there are a number of styles already built in. And what styles are, are preset settings for your windows or your doors, which will allow you to select standard configurations from a list here, but which also allow fine grain controls of various parts of them as you'll see in a moment. So if I go into here and just choose a window, not that one for any particular reason. So you can see it's selected this in the style here and now it, instead of being able to type in this box, you can see it's grayed out now and I've got options to change to custom or to edit. So that will let me either change to completely custom mode, which is to say effectively ignore styles entirely, or to click the edit option, which will let me edit this style, this preset style. And now I can use these controls here to drill down to the various settings that are part of that style. So you can see it's saved the manufacturer range and description here. And then I can click on each of these buttons to see what the settings are for each. So if I click on key dimensions, it will show me the key dimensions that are defined as part of that style. Set those to what I want and then go back to configuration. Then I can go to shape. Similar thing here. You can see at the moment all of my settings are greyed out because I chose a style and I'm not editing it and I'm not in custom mode. So I can't change any of these at the moment. But if I were to come back in here and choose edit, and then go back into shape. You can see these are all modifiable now, so I can change it to have a cable top, go back into configuration and hit save. And that style is now saved to have a gable head shape. So you can edit them on the fly really easily. Glazing panel layout will take you to the familiar glazing panel layout and frame will show you the frame settings. Now the frame style section also has a further level of style. So if I change to edit mode here and click on frame, you can see at the top, there's another selection menu, similar to what we had at the top level, which will actually let me set frame styles. So at the moment it's set to sliding, but I can modify that now. And then I can also set up new styles here, new frame styles, by using the custom and edit buttons the same as I could in the configuration. So the idea with these styles is that you'll set up preset styles for the window and door manufacturers you use often, so that as you're working, you can easily just pick up a preset window or door that you have already set up in advance to fit the piece of joinery that you want, and then you can further customize it if you need to. So you're not locked into what you choose. You can edit what you choose on the fly. And if you're not interested in using these at all, or if you're doing a sort of a one-off custom one, you can always choose the custom option and just ignore styles entirely. We're not forcing anyone to use styles. Just hit custom and away you go, do whatever you like. Snap sizes are another new thing which you can access through this size option here. And again, if this is not something that you want to get into using, just leave this at custom size and you can ignore it entirely. So at the moment, we have a whole list of them. I've got it expanded to 15C at the moment, and you can see that there is a subset of 15C types in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select one of the 15C options. And as soon as I do that, the code changes to match using the format that I've got set here. Now that I have that size selected, you're probably thinking, what on earth does that size mean? Well, let's click on the snap size option here to drill down. 
and you can see on the left here I've got options for width, height and exclusions. So I'm going to look at heights here and then I'm going to look for 15C which is what we have selected and you can see it's here, it's item number 12. The code is 15C which is what we're showing in the snap sizes there and the height is 1286. You can edit any of these snap sizes that you have here to change the sizings and you can also use this panel on the left here with increment and limits and the generate button to auto populate the list with a bunch of sizes within those limits incremented by that much if you want to initially set up a whole set of heights and widths work much the same way at the moment you can't edit them because I'm not in edit mode so we're looking at preset ones um, but these work very similarly to so the code 5 that I was using was 1210 So if I go to preview and positioning now, you can see that because I chose that snap size, it's 1286 by 1210, which is what we just saw, is what it should be. So now that we've looked up those sizes, I'm just going to hit OK on this to change the settings. And you can see that my window marker is now showing the new dimensions 1210 by 1286. And the cool thing about snap sizing is that I can resize my window and rather than just going to the arbitrary length that I move it to it will move to the nearest snap size available. So now that I've resized it here it's gone to 1330 wide so if we have a look in our settings we can now see that the code reads 15c 5.5 rather than just 5 and if we look up 5.5 we should see that it's 1330. Yes, there it is there. So, and that will continue to snap whether you go up or down. So, see our lowest value here is 490, and that's code 2. So, I'm going to resize it, and it will snap to 490. And if I go into the settings, you'll see that the code now reads 15 by 2. So, that's what snap sizes are for. You set up a bunch of sizes, and it will snap to them. We can also set our marker to show the code. So I'm going to choose the CI Tools DW Leaf Marker. Show the type code. And you can see that it shows us the code now. So it's 15C2 at the moment. And as I resize this and it snaps to different values, the code will update on the fly. 15 by 4 now. Now 15.6. So that's snap sizes. I hope that gives you a general idea of how it works. As I say, this is just a quick overview to show you what the styles and sizes are for and how they work. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask us on support. And we are currently working on more documentation to cover all of these features. Thanks for your time.